Did you know that out of 2,781 billionaires on the Forbes list, 369 are women? Who are these richest women in the world? We're taking you to the world of wealth, power, and success as we explore the lives of the world's richest women. Our team did extensive research for this one. From digging into Forbes list to verifying into Bloomberg articles, we're showing you what these women are capable of. Counting down from number 10, with a fortune of $29 billion is Abigail Johnson. Returning to the top 10 wealthiest women this year, the chief executive officer of Fidelity Mutual Funds jumped up the rankings from 11th to 2nd. In 2014, Johnson succeeded her father, Edward Ned Johnson III, as CEO of Fidelity Investments. He will die in 2022. She has a considerable 28.5% ownership in the company that her grandpa started in 1946 and today manages $4.9 trillion in assets. With Johnson's help, Fidelity has expanded its international company and is now able to serve clients all around the globe. Through her varied and practical work experience, she gained a deep understanding of investment management and how a large financial organization operates. Next up, number nine, Gina Reinhardt. With a net worth of $30.8 billion Hancock Prospecting Group, a mining and agriculture corporation, is chaired by the Australian magnate. Her father, Lang Hancock, passed the family business on to her. He passed away in 1992. Ever since March 2023, her fortune has increased by 14%, solidifying her position as Australia's wealthiest individual. According to Bloomberg, one of the assets of the company situated in West Perth, Australia, is the Roy Hill Mine, which started producing in 2015. A number of agricultural assets in Australia are also owned by Hancock. Reinhardt stays out of the limelight personally, despite her enormous fortune and commercial success. Both the mining sector and Australia's economy and society are shaped by Reinhardt's charity work and her revolutionary influence on the market. In the eighth spot is Miriam Adelson and family, with a combined net worth of $32 billion, more than 50% of the world-renowned Las Vegas Sands, owned by Adelson and her family, is invested in the casino industry. The estate of her late husband, Sheldon Adelson, a prominent Republican Party figure, passed to her in 2021. An estimated $1 billion has been donated by this physician to support medical research and drug discovery during her lifetime according to Forbes. Adelson established a clinic and center for study on drug abuse. It was seven years later that she and her husband established the Dr. Miriam and Sheldon G. Adelson Research Clinic in Las Vegas. Over the course of her career, she has been a researcher at Rockefeller University and published a plethora of scholarly articles concerning drug addiction. Rafaela Aponte Diamant comes in at number seven with a net worth of $33.1 billion. In 1970, Aponte Diamant and her husband Gianluigi Aponte established MSC, which has grown into the biggest shipping line in the world. They both control half of the company. Decorating the ships for MSC cruises is her responsibility. After taking out a loan of $200,000 to purchase a ship, she and her husband broke into the industry. With a combined net worth of $66 billion, Aponte Diamant and her 83-year-old husband came in at number 48 on Forbes' list. According to Forbes, they are both more wealthy than prominent figures such as Changpeng CZ Zhao, founder of Binance, Masayoshi Sun, boss of SoftBank, and Eduardo Saverin, co-founder of Facebook. Now comes number 6, Savitri Jindal and family, with a combined net worth of $33.5 billion, Indian heiress and head of Jindal Group. Om Prakash Jindal's widow was the company's founder. Infrastructure, cement, steel, and power are some of Jindal Group's areas of operation. The group's businesses were divided among O.P. Jindal's four sons after his death in a helicopter crash, and they currently operate them individually. Rising share prices propelled Jindal to the position of 12th wealthiest woman in 2023. Savitri Devi Jindal ranks as the 16th wealthiest Indian and the wealthiest lady in India overall. Not only that, but she is the 7th wealthiest mother on the planet and the 453rd richest person overall. 
Now we reach number five, Mackenzie Scott, with a net worth of $35.6 billion. After her 2019 divorce from Jeff Bezos, the philanthropist and billionaire received 4% of Amazon and promptly promised to donate the majority of her fortune. There was a financing competition in March, and 361 organizations were given $640 million by Scott. Over the course of her lifetime, she has given a staggering $17.3 billion, most of it in the form of smaller, unexpected gifts with no strings attached. Mackenzie Scott is one of the most famous philanthropists of this decade. She is also a successful novelist and has created a net worth of billions of dollars. Living in the shadow of her ex-husband Jeff Bezos, Mackenzie Scott was formerly known as Mrs. Amazon. Nevertheless, she is now establishing herself as a powerful rival. She comes at number four, Jacqueline Mars, with a net worth of $38.5 billion. The candy and pet food giant is owned by the heir to Mars Inc., her brother John Mars, and the four daughters of her late brother Forrest Jr. Famous brands owned by the corporation include Pedigree Dog Food, Ben's Original, M&M's, and Snickers. Her grandpa, Frank C. Mars, started selling buttercream candies out of his kitchen in 1911, so it was kind of like starting a family business. Stephen Badger, her son, is a board member for Mars. For several years running, the Mars family has been named one of America's wealthiest families. With her status as an heiress, Jacqueline Mars has billions of dollars worth of shares and assets. Third on our list are Julia Koch and her family, who are worth a whopping $64.3 billion. This year, the Koch's wealthiest woman fell from second to third place with the passing of David Koch. Koch Industries, which includes oil refining, medical technology, paper towels, and more, was left to her and her three children with a 42% interest. She also serves as a trustee at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. She is the president of the David H. Koch Foundation. She donated approximately $200 million to various causes around the country, such as education, the arts, medical research, and science and medicine. David H. Koch Sr. was Julia's husband. The couple had three children, John, Mary Julia, and David Koch Jr. A net worth of $72.3 billion places Alice Walton at number two. As the youngest of Sam Walton's children, Walton will inherit the riches that his father amassed through his company, Walmart. One of two family holding businesses that control approximately half of the world's biggest retailer, Walton Enterprises, is co-managed by her. Revenue for the year ending January 31st, 2024 was $648.1 billion for the firm headquartered in Bentonville, Arkansas. The stock price of Walmart has increased by 34% in the past year, making the wealthiest lady in the United States $15.6 billion richer this year. Sam Walton, founder of Walmart, died in 1992, leaving behind an heiress who is his only daughter. Last but not the least, at number one, Francoise Betancourt Myers and family, with a net worth of $99.5 billion. The world's wealthiest woman title has been held for four years, running by the granddaughter of the L'Oreal founder, who is also the heir to the family fortune. Her almost 35% share in the cosmetics behemoth L'Oreal group, which includes Maybelline, Kiehl's, and Lancome, and generates $45 billion in sales, is the main source of her riches. After inheriting her mother, Lillian Betancourt's inheritance, Betancourt Myers first showed up on Forbes' list of billionaires in 2018, with a net worth of $42.2 billion. The Betancourts were famous in France for their glitzy parties, and she was married to a French politician named André Betancourt. These women proved that with determination, vision, and a generous heart, immense wealth can create positive change. We hope you like this video. If you want more luxury content, be sure to subscribe to be ahead of the latest in luxury.